All right, welcome back. So we're moving on to our next question here, even though this one actually isn't framed as a question, there's no question mark, but that doesn't make it any less relevant or less real world. In fact, this is one that I think is a really common operation, a common question to ask, and it has to do with inactive users. So across any sort of startup or online app company, there's often you know users who sign up, create an account, and then do nothing whether it means never posting or never buying something, never converting from a free account to a paid account, um, like in the case of Spotify, or never, in my case, you know, and this is a real example for my courses, students who sign up and then never start it, never make it past the first video. They're at 0%. And I'm actually able to send targeted, I think once a month, twice a month, I can send an email update and I can target that to specific segments. So if I you know, updated an introduction section to a course and I only wanted to let students know who haven't started yet, I want to target them and say, hey, by the way, I noticed you haven't started yet. Well, this is a good time to start. I just revamped the whole intro. I could do that based off of what we're going to be doing here. Of course, our data and our database is set up differently, but it's the same idea. So this is a really common thing. And all we're gonna try and do is for our Instagram clone, our fake Instagram, we're trying to identify users who have never posted a photo. So they've signed up, they never posted anything. And we want our users to be more engaged for a bunch of reasons. You know, we want higher engagement in our app, which means that we could, you know, have a higher valuation potentially or sell ads for more, maybe get higher investments, all that kind of stuff. We want people posting if they're signed up. It looks bad to have dead accounts, people who sign up and then give up. So we're gonna try and send an email we're not worrying about doing that, but how are we going to target these people who have never posted a photo? First step, let's identify them. And essentially, we're going to need to work with the users table and the photos table. So I'll add my three here, which is identify inactive users, users with no photos. Okay, so you've probably gathered we need to do a join. We're going to be working with the users table, so we can start there. Select star from users. And, you know, we have 100 something users, but we can't see who's done what because we have the photos table. And if we do our select star from photos, just to jog your memory, well, I guess we haven't actually seen all of our data here yet. We've got about, well, exactly 257 photos, but a lot of them are done by the same user. So this here is user ID. If I scroll way up, here we go. We can see, you know, these the, these are all posted by the same user. So three, these are all from the same user. These are all from the same user. But then we have some users who haven't posted anything. But there's no way of knowing that just by looking at the photos because these are the posted photos. So what we need to do is join these two together. And hopefully you know what we need to do. If I just do a regular inner join, inner join, photos and where do we want to do it we want to join on users dot id equals photos dot user id and if we run this now it's a mess so let's focus on just the things we need so rather than star we can do username maybe the image url and we can just start with those two all right so we can see you know all these usernames and what they've submitted but the problem here is that this doesn't account for the people who haven't submitted anything so if there was a user who didn't submit something they're not showing up here because we're doing an inner join which remember is the intersection of both circles the left and the right where they overlap but what we want is to identify where users on the left have no overlap on the right for photos so we can change this to a left join and that one change we rerun this we'll have to scroll a bit there we go you can see we have certain users who have a null over here and that's referring to the fact that they have no photos corresponding to them so there's a couple of them as I go here and that's what we want to be able to identify so we're almost there actually all that we need to do is only select the users that have photos of null essentially and of course, if I go back to having star here, it's not just image URL that's null. It's everything in photos. It's hard to see. Here's an example. But we've got a couple of nulls here. We've got the image or the photo ID, 
we've got the uh, image URL, we've got the user ID of the photo, and then we have the created at is null. So all four things are null. We just need to focus on one of them. It doesn't matter which one. So I'll go back to just adding username here, and we can do, I don't, it doesn't matter really. Um, let's do image URL again. And then all we wanna do is add a where down here, but we can't just say where photos dot, you know, we could just do ID equals null. That doesn't work, remember, null is weird. So we need to do where photos dot ID is null. And this could be anything on the photos side. It could be photos dot ID, it could be photos dot image URL, photos dot user ID, any of them. So I'll just do it as ID. And if I do this now, you'll see, and we actually don't even need to display the image URL. But if I do that, this is our list of users who have never posted anything for whatever reasons. Some of them, programmatically, I created them as bots, which all they do is go comment and like other people's photos, but they don't post anything themselves. And then another persona of a user is a lurker, which is somebody who has an account and they don't use it all that much, but they just kind of look at people's photos, maybe like something, but they don't really, they definitely don't post and they don't comment. They're kind of a silent member of the community. So we get a decent number of them. Sorry for that fire truck. And that's all we need to do. You know, if we want to figure out how many, that's another thing. We could just add a count in, but we just want the username so that we can target them. These are people who have never posted anything. And just a note, you know, if you did this the other way around, it would have worked just fine as well to do photos, users, and then a right join does the same thing. So either way works, but the key thing is that we're working with null where we have an intersection where some users and some photos overlap, most of them do, but then we also have that subset of users who have no photos and we need to also join those with null which is how we were able to tell if they have no photos. So here's my solution. If you came up with something different, post it and we can discuss it. Moving on.